My censored rape and consent video with naked intro for Steven Crowder. Now, uh, as he says, the intro of this is naked. He he has his he, he's got his whole he's got his whole business out there, and uh, I have skipped over that. As you can see, uh, we're not we're not quite at the start of the video here because we don't need to see. I mean, we don't get to see Johnson, but we do get to see uh, Budinsky and Sons. So that's we we don't need that. There's there's no need. Uh, so we, we've skipped over the intro, but apparently the intro is for his, uh, uh, for Steven Crowder in some way. And so I was curious about this and his, his description here says, hi horses, which is not better than hi cuties. If anything, that's somehow worse, but, uh, hi horses. YouTube took down a video I made about rape and consent two months after it was flagged as spam. They rejected my appeal, saying the video broke the rules about scams and deceptive practices. Well, something about this was deceptive, but we'll get into that. I have no idea how it would have done that, so it seems more likely that people thought it was offensive and that was that. Since Steven Crowder, my nemesis, just had his channel demonetized after Vox pushed for it, I've decided to get naked in solidarity with Steven and his stand against censorship. So... I guess this is for Steven Crowder. Now, it's stuff like Steven Crowder, my nemesis, that just makes it a little harder every time I see this shit to believe anything that he says. But, uh, you know, he really, he, if, if he's doing some kind of masterful fucking Andy Kaufman tro troll bullshit, like, that's, that's quite something. But, uh, oh, gee, it seems like I've caused problems in the server. <laughs> Sorry about that, Z. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyways, um, so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get into this. So, again, this is the video where, from what I've heard, he admits to doing some very not-so-good things that uh, are very not-so-goods. Uh, so, I again, I haven't seen it. We'll, we'll, we'll judge for ourselves. <laughs> Hi, horses. The public dialogue about rape and consent is spinning off into wild, bizarre directions. People are trying to get a handle on what's going on, but for some reason... I wonder if I'm going to get banned on Twitch for this. It's just an orange. Don't worry about it. They want to do it with very simple ideas just an and catchphrases. For example, continuous, enthusiastic consent. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! Okay, that's kind of a funny edit. But only because that scene is the most hilarious moment in cinematic history where... Where, where somebody does CBT cock and ball torture from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia on James Bond. And that's that's the debut uh, Daniel Craig film, too. So that's that was quite something. Ah, ah, mm, yes, yes. Yeah, that doesn't really work for me. As a rule, I don't have sex with enthusiastic people. Come for me. Oh. Yeah, that's more like it. Oh. Or yes means yes. Is that always true? Do you really never say no in sexual situations when you really mean yes? Stop that. Stop what? Oh boy, this is, uh... Hmm. Here's a story. You know, it's weird because you don't... I mean, you do expect this kind of thing from the male feminists, but you don't expect it in quite this way. This, is, this really seems like the kind of argument that a like a more right-wing channel might have. I don't know, uh, but but okay. A couple years ago, I matched with a woman on Tinder. I say woman because she was 46. Anyway, we got frozen yogurt. She came over. We got naked. I got naked. Why are we watching Ace Ventura? <laughs> then we both got naked. We started making out. Sex kind of makes me anxious, so I don't like a ton of foreplay. To me, it should be like tearing off a Band-Aid, right? I'm trying to be patient. Finally, I get her on top of me. I put Okay, all right, all right. We don't... We d Listen, listen. Okay, listen. Hang on. Okay, listen, listen. This is Twitch. This is... All right. This is fine. You know what? We're just gonna... Uh, you know, we're just... Here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to, uh, we're just going to listen. We're just going to listen. It's fine. If anything important happens, I don't even think he really shows his face in this video after the naked intro that I mentioned. But, uh, uh so I, I don't think we're going to miss anything. We're, we're just going to, we're just going to listen. I just like to watch you guys. 
my dick in place, like right. Hang on, go on, back, go back, go back. Patient. Finally, I get her on top of me. I put my dick in place, like right on, at at her vagina, and I'm like, oh, "All right, boy. let's do this." She oh, holds baby. perfectly still and says, "I'm not ready." Clear as day, no mistaking her mm-hmm. meaning. She doesn't consent. Uh, okay, uh, please continue. But she has this look in her eye. Like, she's daring me to just push it in. Like, I'm some kind of pussy if I don't. I could have been imagining that. But I grabbed her shoulders and pushed her down onto my dick. I I fucked her. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did she like that I did that? I think so. She probably... I think so. Uh... Probably had mixed feelings about it. Was it rape? Yes. I guess. I don't know. She told me not to, and I did it anyway. That well then makes it rape. Did the cops show up later? No. Did she want to meet up again? Yeah. Does that mean it's not rape? No. It's rape, but I don't feel bad about it. I don't know how she felt about it. If you're watching this, uh, let let me know in the comments. How about that one there, chat? How how about how about them beans? How about uh? Uh, yeah, how about that? I don't know. Uh, the, you know, the, the thing is, this doesn't sound very good. I'm going to be real. It doesn't sound great for him. And this is his story. This is his side of the story. This is uh, him that's telling us this. This is his recounting of events. So we're not even hearing from the woman in all this. <laughs> and that's what's a little bit terrifying. Uh, so there's another catchphrase. Believe all women. Now, some people take that to mean believe all women in a court of law, lock men up without evidence, blah, blah, blah. That's not how I take it. I don't think that's what it means. Look, there's only one legal definition of rape. If a group of your peers and a judge say you raped someone, then you did. And that legal part is getting mixed up with talking about our own personal definitions of rape. And in that arena, rape is an experience. If a woman tells you she was raped, separate from any legal issues, I'd say hearing her out is a good thing. The experience of sexual violation doesn't always line up with the law. Joe Biden is probably not breaking any laws here, right? But Stephanie Carter seems to feel pretty violated at this moment. You wa- everybody, welcome the new president of the United States, everybody, because uh, I get, apparently as long as he's not Trump, he's fine. I want consent to be simple. But- I can't believe infant rapist here won this year's election. It just isn't. I wish it were. I'm always obsessed with pointing out nuance in my videos, right? But I don't actually like nuance. It's all gushy. I wish it weren't there. It would be nice. That's part of what Trump is selling, right? Before we had all this information, back when America was great, back when we could speak without nuance, when Thanksgiving was just a nice holiday and you could grab your secretary's ass and she'd just laugh it off or maybe even suck your dick. I bet they think about you when you were a little girl. I wonder how it all happened, yeah? Telling college girls to be mindful of what they drink and possibly even what they wear is victim blaming. A college girl should be able to get blackout drunk, wear a short skirt with no underwear, pre-lube her vagina and butthole, write rape me on her butt what? and lipstick, what? and crawl into a halfway house what? for sex offenders what? and not worry about getting raped. Here's where <laughs> here's where I'm- Okay, that's- uh, Alright then. Um, hmm. Break out that spicy water. Uh, yeah, I'm always just in- interested in the way he seems to like escalate things without. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. It's hmm. a little confused. I once took. Yeah, a I'm a little to- confused. It said I was a little paranoid and naive, which are scored the same way. One of the questions I got wrong is number 283. The person who provides temptation by leaving valuable property unprotected is about as much to blame for its theft as the one who steals it. True or false? I said false. In other words, blame the thief. And that is wrong. That's incorrect. That's not how a normal person answers. So riddle me this, normies. If you leave your pussy or your dick unprotected and I fucking steal it, how is that my fucking fault? All right, now that the- Are you doing like a Mr. Plinkett voice? I don't like- I. uh, mm. Normies are gone. Let's talk about some real shit. All sex has some component that is non-consensual. A girl's- What? Stuck in your dick. Feels great. Then she starts licking your balls. Wow. Did she ask if she could lick your balls? No, but that's implied. So that's where, oh, oh, where's she going? Oh, look, there she is licking your asshole. Stuff just happens, okay? 
It wasn't for this me. It really feels like a lot of just sort of like, yeah, but stuff happens though, okay? It's like, it's not weird. I didn't do anything wrong though. I didn't do anything wrong, guys. It really feels like a lot of just, you know, explaining away uh, of, of things, but uh, go, go on. <laughs> Even if you have two super lame, over-communicative nerds saying, Oh, is it okay if I suck your left nipple now? There's always some element of coercion. Oh, Pamela. What are you doing? People are too complicated for it to be a simple yes or no. There's always some part of you that doesn't want to have sex. <laughs> yeah, but no. No. Yeah, no. I mean, I think... You know, that's what language and communication is for, really, is is no, is saying no. The word no comes to mind, and you could say that, and like that girl did before you went and and uh, and did the thing anyway. Uh, yeah, so no uh, is a word you can say uh, when, yeah, no, what the fuck are you talking about, you crazy psycho? <laughs> but you do it anyway, and you aren't going to know if you made the right decision until later, if ever, if there even is a right decision. And this makes sex and rape a lot more complicated. Rape isn't like murder. Most people don't want to get shot over the contents of their wallet and dumped in a trash can. So when that happens to someone, most people do want to get raped. What? What are you talking about? Someone, you can safely assume it was not consensual, but people love fucking. I've been fucking since I was 10. So it's a little more confusing to figure out how consensual fucking was or was not. Some part of you wants to fuck everyone. See, with sex, there's a track in your mind that already exists. A path to yes. Am I saying that rape victims want it on some level? Unfortunately. By the way, in the background of while he's saying that ra what, no, what, hang on, no, wait, no, uh, hang on. Before I say anything, let's just go back a little path bit. Path to yes. Am I saying that rape victims want it on some level? Unfortunately, yes. And that's probably the reason rape is so psychologically destructive to people because some part of so, um, so while this is happening, he's playing Superman cartoons, by he the way. Does. Am I saying that rape victims want it on some level? Unfortunately, yes. And that's probably the reason rape is so psychologically destructive. To so, um, yeah, uh, there's just a lot of, I, you know, you know, what's funny is he says that the video got removed for promoting scams, quote unquote. And I don't know if I believe that. And maybe I feel like he actually just removed it because someone in his life said that this is a bad look and he probably doesn't want this on his channel. Um, but then he went and posted the cuties video anyway. So, you know, who knows? Really? I who, who's who's to say, really? People, because some part of you does want it. And here's the other thing about consent. It's pretty boring. Consent is why most porn is bad. The problem with porn isn't that it teaches young boys and girls unrealistic blah blah. I feel like there's not much that I even really need to say most of the time. I really can just... It's productive to people because some part of you does want it. And here's the other thing about consent. It's pretty boring. Consent is why most porn is bad. The problem with porn isn't it to Like you don't... What am I even going to say to that? What do I even add to a comment like that? Honestly, like I can't, there's nothing I can say to that. It's just, it speaks for itself. Really teaches young boys and girls, unrealistic blah, blah, blah about objectifying. The problem with porn is it's fucking boring. And you know why? Because there's no tension or mixed feelings or anything. It's that's not like real. That's how porn is not like real life. Uh, Here's there's your no tension or mixed feelings. Yeah. There's just, you know, there's the girl doesn't wind up crying in the fetal position after so you know it wasn't even it wasn't worth it it was it was yeah pizza no, ma'am oh bro. hey sexy want a blow job yeah oh yeah yeah fuck yeah oh i'm having such a great time i'm gonna order pizza every day okay yeah there's some porn out there that's a little more interesting oh my god Hold on to oh my god oh what it's that's a little more interesting but generally is that interesting does that uh i mean it's inter it's certainly interesting for on um, for multiple reasons 
that you're uh, interested in such a thing, but not. Uh, hmm. Okay. Continue. Continue. It's boring and needs a lot less consent and a lot more rapiness. All my favorite romance scenes in movies are kind of rapey and also in real life. Okay, so now he's just kind of going straight into it. All right. Life. I'm sorry. It's boring when someone is like, oh, Mr. Girl, you're just the best. Let's have some healthy, totally well thought out, non-regret inducing, not scary sex. I'm just... This is not the mind of a normal person. I'm sorry. Even if like even removing anything he may or may not have done, this is just not the way a normal person thinks. No, just no. What are you talking about? No, not into that. It's that's a lot not what the. That's oh my god. That's not what the goal is supposed. You know, I shouldn't be surprised because I'm sure fucking eleven year olds gives you plenty of doubts and and regrets. So. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, we're just They're alleging. Like, we're just, uh, we're just my making jokes. Are also creeped out by you. Why is my pussy so wet? <laughs> Seriously, I've never asked a girl if she has rape fantasy. Um, so I'd like to just let you know that uh, the last clip that he used in this video uh, was pussy so wet <laughs> was from the film Alien <laughs> or Alien Three or something, one of the Alien movies. So I guess he's implying that this scene is sexual. Did he? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> seriously, I've never asked a girl if she has rape fantasies and had the answer be no. Isn't that a little disingenuous, like in this like big public Me Too conversation? Shouldn't we talk about that too? How could you vote for a disgusting pig like Donald Trump talking about grabbing women by the pussy? Oh yeah, but rape talk is hot. <gasps> Oh, 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 but only in a clean... I mean, to be totally fair, I've always felt that it was a little fucking weird how for many years the biggest book in the world was Fifty Shades of Grey and it spawned a super popular, like, f franchise of movies and uh, and yet dot, dot, dot. So, I mean, there's, I, I guess, a kernel of truth to this part a little bit, but I, I, I mean... A sex positive environment where everything has been wiped down with sanitizer. We need to communicate. We need to be sensitive. We need to talk about what we do and don't want to do. And we have to respect. Mm. All right. Well, to be fair, if you're using, if you're using lesbians got the laws here as an example of like men or something like that's not, that's not fair. I don't even know who this guy is. I'm sorry if he's rape is. I don't know anything. It's about unfortunate, this but tr wait, what did you say? What to do? And we have to respect. Mm. Rape is human. It's unfortunate, but true. Can you imagine a dog? Of all of the rapes I've committed, his was the most human. Dog? Like dogs rape each other. Can you imagine a dog going on TV and saying, uh, <clears throat> some dogs, not me, but some dogs are rapey, and that's just terrible. Dogs are animals. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can do the whole, but humans are animals too. And it's like, yeah, but we don't need to be, <laughs> you fucking caveman. Like, what you You'd be like, no, you're all the fucking same. If one person doesn't want to be doing what they are doing and they are being coerced or pressured into doing- Dogs are rapey. Humans are too. Rape culture is human culture. And if you can accept that, instead of going into sex thinking, this is totally consensual. I have consented, and this other person has consented 100%. You could open your fucking mind a little bit and ask yourself, how can- Open your mind a little bit, guys. Guys, you're just a little too close-minded. So our smug as shit friend over here really just thinks you need to open your mind a little bit. Uh, you know, you're just a little too close minded to be a rapist, uh, sweetie. I'm sorry. Maybe you need to just evolve a little bit and, uh, you know, you'll 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 be a, a, an enlightened, uh, cool person like Mr. Girl. Let's let's just. Let's just hear that part again. Just just go go a little back there. Just go back a little. Totally consensual. I have consented and this other person has consented 100%. You could open your fucking mind a little bit and ask yourself, how consensual is this? Can you make me feel good? Can you make me feel good? In what ways is it not? And there are ways that it's not always. And you can look at sex and consent with some more nuance. Drink deep or taste not the plasma spring. See what I'm saying? And if we demand that everyone and we're mostly talking about women here. If we demand that women convince themselves they are 100% certain they want to have sex every time they do, all we're doing is telling them to lie to themselves, to simplify their emotions, to bury their pain and confusion even deeper. See? See? You fucking... What? You know, 
you know, <clears throat> you know, I shouldn't be surprised. It is Mr. Girl after all, and it's unrealistic of me, truly, to think that any woman wouldn't be regretful and filled with shame after fucking him. So, you know, I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm wrong. It's it's I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm mistaken. Pervert, why do you like hearing me talk about deeply buried pain and confusion? My shitty parents actually thought they could stop my sexuality from becoming creepy and violent by not letting me watch rape scenes in movies. But all that accomplished was now I feel No, I just kept watching uh I think there I think he's showing clips of uh, I spit on your grave right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and the, 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 the infamous uh, rape revenge movie. So I guess what he's implying here is he just fucking kept watching that one on repeat. Let's go over that one not one more time. Sexuality from becoming pain and confusion. My shitty parents actually thought they could stop my sexuality from becoming creepy and violent by not letting me watch rape scenes in. My shitty parents really thought they could stop me from being a violent uh, rapist and and likely pedophile. <laughs> Allegedly, uh, yeah. My real my shitty parents tried to keep me from watching fucking I spit on your grave at the age of six or whatever. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, fuck those guys. Movies, but all that accomplished was now I feel guilty about my rapey thoughts. I'm trying to get better at it, though. Like, I just had a rape fantasy just now. I just had another. I just had another. I think these conversations would be more productive, more fruitful. I mean, like, okay, listen. I If, you, if you're with a girl and she has a, expressed to you that, you know, there's like a... A, a, a non-consensual thing that she's into, then that's, I mean, and, and it's like, you know, I think the term is consensual non-consent. That's, that's, that's a thing. That's fine. If you talk about that first and you've established that that's a thing, then it's okay. Sure. That, then you go, 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 but for the grace of God, you know, but like, I, I think I fucked up that, that idiom, but anyways, you know, but, but when you're just like, when you just phrase it as as like, oh, I just had a rape fantasy. Oh, I just had another one. It's like, what are you, what are you just having them about the every like all the girls and cuties or like, what do you do? Is it just popping into your head? Because that's not that's not normal. I'm gonna say that's not normal. Uh, really, that's really not normal. That is exceedingly not normal, and I'm starting to really understand why this video is no longer on YouTube. Although not why they took it down for scams. That's I mean. Actually, no, I can see why they took it down for scams. Never mind. Right, though. Like, I just had a rape fantasy just now. I just had another. I just had another. I think these conversations would be more productive, more fruitful, if everybody stopped fighting for the high ground. And we're going to start the revolution right here, right now. So, please, share your rape fantasies in the comments. Okay, very, very nice. All right, well, that's... Uh... That's a very cool video there from Mr. Girl, which he understandably removed from his fucking uh, channel because, like, of course he did. We're going to uh, we're going to look into this, and uh, so we have some good videos here. We have some really cool videos, and so far I have seen obviously the cuties one. Uh, pretty a lot of people are familiar with this video right now uh, for, for from a lot of from a lot of sources if you're uh, but if you're not familiar yeah he he defends the weird Netflix pedo movie cuties and uh, you know uh, that's 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 pretty that's pretty epic right there uh, and uh, of course I've also seen some of his last of us 2 review which is uh, really just as bad as you think it is I mean uh, he he kind of he kind of subverts some expectations of how dumb you think a video from a channel like this might be uh, about Lo the Last of Us Two, but then he kind of he he swoops in with new stupidity to add to the to the thing. But uh, but I'm I'm going to watch this one now because uh, Jay Aubrey uh had a video recently about the cutie situation, and he talked about this guy and one of the things he pointed out was this video here your orgasm is not my responsibility where he says uh that to his girlfriend and then he proceeds to talk about uh how great of a sex m sex machine he was uh as a teenager or something i don't know it's pretty bad let's watch 
Your orgasm is not my responsibility. That's my idea for the video. That's the theme. Specifically you. <laughs> right, I'm familiar. Yeah. Oh, you want to go first? Oh, no. I was really good in bed uh, when I was <laughs> 16. I was really good in bed. First person I had sex with. The scary part is he says it all with a great, with a, with a straight face and... Uh... She said uh, afterward, I didn't know anything could feel that good. Because it was drilled into me. You got to make her come. That was the most important thing. And I, you know, had sex manuals. Educational books, but I treated them like sex manuals. Since Sex manuals. Wow. Plus 10 to sex. <laughs> so this girl keeps making this face where she goes like, she has this like facial tick where she'll kind of like she'll do a thing. And I feel like I feel like that might be in some way a response to. Yeah. OK, bro, this story. That was the most important thing. And I, you know, had sex manuals. Educational books, but I treated them like sex manuals since I was like seven or eight. Sex manuals. And I was like, I've been training my whole life to prove that I was not going to be one of those fucking stupid sexist teenage boys who just gets a blow job or fucks a girl and comes after 30 seconds and rolls over and goes to sleep. Sexist boys. Ah, uh, they're so, yeah. Cause he's just, once again, ladies and gentlemen, he's just such a good male feminist. You really just don't understand what a good male feminist he is. He's such a good ally that, uh, you know, this is the kind of guy you want taking care of you, uh, when, when you're, when, you, when the chips are down, you know? So, uh, and I got to say this poor girl, uh, again, these are all just questions and guesswork, but, uh, yeah. Did he maybe like brainwash this poor fucking girl? My God, this is, this is, this is very sa sad. I, I, uh, blink twice if you're okay, sweetheart. And I was going to just, was, just jokes. Just do not, we're not, we're not alleging anything. We legally aren't, but you know, make this girl come. And we were on the floor of my, uh, basement. It's furnished basement. Uh, she was also sick. she is doing that fucking tick again i feel like that's i feel like that's excuse me if i'm insensitive and maybe that's just a thing she has but i feel like that might be like a cry for help i don't know 16 <laughs> and uh i had my hand like cranked under there and i was rubbing her clit and she was I had my hand cranked under there very good was on top and she had a great time can we she had a great time can we can we play, pay special attention here to this girl's ridiculous problem glasses? I mean, I know we're, we're I know focus on target here. She's not the person we're talking about, but but my God, stay the fuck away. <laughs> and then uh, it was a long time before it started occurring to me that I actually hate sex and don't enjoy it. And it's it makes me flip out and I just feel used and violated. And uh, since I've met you, I've gotten progressively worse in bed, I think, month by month. I think at first I was putting, I was still putting in some effort. And then I, I really just, um, <laughs> I've turned into that teenage boy I never got to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, that, so it's settled. We're all in agreement. Well, let's hear what she has to say. It's sort of hard to say because I'm so traumatized. We actually don't have that much sex. But... Um, I think. I mean, we've had sex a bunch of times. Yes, yes, yes. Y yes, 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 yes. We did absolutely. Well, if we, if you can call that sex. So she says that she's really traumatized, and again, don't mean to be insensitive if that's a thing that happened to her before, Mister Girl. But. Uh, um. Yes. I is he? Uh, is he going after? Mm, I don't know. I. I don't know. See, it's just it's raising. Some questions about him. Uh, I get, uh, no, not no again. No judgment to the girl. Obviously, obviously, no judgment to the girl. But I'm just saying that the, the circumstances are raising a few questions about the Mr. Girl here. You know, uh, uh, so you know, uh, there, there's there. It could be said that maybe he's. Uh, I don't know. There's a certain type of guy, not necessarily him, but there's a certain type of guy who. 
maybe goes after uh, victims of such things uh, that might be traumatizing. Uh, but, you know, uh, we're not, again, we're not making any accusations here. Oh, we're like 40. Even from pretty early on, we had discussions about the fact that it made you feel used. And I d- wouldn't say that we were having a ton of sex that was all about me. I think we established pretty quickly that it was important that you also feel like parts of our sex life were for you. Yeah, I no longer feel accomplished or good when you enjoy sex. I feel bad. Is that how you turn into a rapist? Is that what rapists feel? Why does this keep happening? (laughs) Oh my god, no! Um, No, why does this keep happening, you fuck? Rapists not great, I don't know. (laughs) Maybe rapists specifically are like, I don't want you to enjoy this. The only way I know this is for me is if you're Scratching my eyes out. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Like, is this just, like, a low level of that? Maybe. I think... I just think it has to do with trauma. I think that for both of us, we've had experiences where it has been clear that the other person's pleasure took precedence over anything we were feeling to the point that it was Yeah, but that's true of all women. That's not... That doesn't make you special. What's special is that I feel like that as a man. And what I would like to bring up and discuss with you today is the idea that maybe a lot of men feel this way and don't realize it. Because we're always... We, we know that women feel used when they have sex. We know that. That's a, that's a yes. cultural narrative that we all agree on. Yeah, the thing that I hate the most about the channel uh, uh, that this, this man operates, uh, not him. I wouldn't want to say that I hate another YouTuber. That would be bullying or something like that. But uh, no, I, the thing that I hate most about his content is that it really seems to be trying to push this like, oh, the superior opinion It's like this narrative he's trying to push of like, you know, I feel like all guys are rapists. I feel like, you know, all people are attracted to 11 year olds and it feels like he's really trying to push this weird fucking narrative and I don't like it. I I don't like it. Uh, I I don't. uh, I don't. You know, I do not care for it. What we don't agree is that when men are pressured to be good in bed or, you know, like R&B songs. It's a big thing with black people. Being- you know, someone in chat asked if we're sure that this isn't like a parody or satire or something. And I, I wish that I believed that. I still feel like maybe he, maybe it's a Nick Akato situation where he thinks it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, because there's been, uh, there's been a lot of, I mean, there's situations in the past where he's been like legally involved with things, which I'm sure we're gonna get into shortly. And there's old fucking, I think Kiwi Farms found some weird old like newsletter that he ran in high school or college or something, and it was a newsletter about female masturbation. So. You know, I'm going to say it's one of those situations where it really doesn't matter if he thinks he's being uh, satirical or something. I think at this point, he's just kind of a a big creep. He's just kind of a really big creep. Let's continue. Good. Men and women. Black people like to talk about how, you know, they're going to make your eyes roll back in your head or make your toes curl or. I mean, everybody does, but that narrative is very strong in in our culture. There's like a certain power dynamic that I do think is appealing to like both genders. The idea that you would be like the, that I would be like the queen or goddess or whatever the fuck people say. 
and then like you would yeah, be yeah yeah but the here's the thing though is that women are no, like no, no, no. stupid shut shut the fuck up women wait did he just say that Wh- and women then, are like, stupid you would be- yeah, yeah yeah but the here's the thing though is that women are like stupid mm. and cannot when, so when a man and woman have sex the man um, a guy like a guy can just blow his load like a guy can get yes. off a guy does not need your special help and special attention for you to read 10 sex manuals when you're 7 years old in order to give you a fucking orgasm i don't know how many 7 year olds were reading sex manuals do they make sex manuals where did you find sex manuals is that like in the tutorial building at the beginning of links awakening that i never went in or like is that one of those books cuz yes now you can say that's biological i don't believe that though I think a lot of it is socialized. I think women do not know their own bodies. I think most women do not just don't are not that good at coming. They're just bad at it. Guys, ladies, rather, you just don't understand being a woman as well as Mr. Girl does. Um, you know, just listen to his advice because. Uh, you know, he, you just need a little bit of, you just need a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, I'll just, mm, yeah, no, 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 please stop this. Please stop this now. Cause this is not even, we're not even like a quarter of the way into this video yet. And it just keeps getting worse. I'm, I don't, I didn't realize how long this was and how many fucking pauses I'm being forced to take. Cause holy shit. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's quite something. Like when you watch a woman oh, yeah, masturbate, true. there's apps for this. When you watch a woman masturbate, <laughs> it's usually a sad sight. It's a pathetic, like, wait, wait, okay. I, wait, hang on, hold on. I almost have it. Okay, I, th- I think I, ha- I, I think I had a little one, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just keep. Going. Okay, it got too sensitive. Yeah, so uh, send all your uh, you send all your gifts to deadwingdork.com slash deadwingdork. Uh, please, please make sure to gift that. Please make sure to gift that. Someone please gift that part uh, and just uh, make that a thing. Just spread it around. You can use it for whatever reason. Send it to your send it to your friends, your family, your clergy. It, it, it's, it'll be great. <laughs> like you've Personally seen that. attacked. <laughs> and it's not you. Uh, it is, but it's, but it's also lots of women. Yeah, like I know. you've yes. hooked up with women, yes. So you know, oh, yes. They're like they're they don't know how to control their bodies. Uh, yes. Why? Um. Uh, just uh, there's a lot of shame around masturbating. Um, it's like not something we talk about, or we don't we don't like talk about one. Kind of feels this has the same energy to me as when Chris Chan uh, talked to his mom and was like, "Hey, mom, tell tell the people that you're alive. I'm alive. Thank you, mom." Um, this kind of feels like he's he's asking her questions on a test for the information that he uh, for for the the literature that he gave her. Uh, Again, I'm not suggesting any brainwashing or manipulation occurred here, but uh, uh, I mean, would it be out of the, would it be out of the question? Would you be surprised if that ha- if it turned out that that you know hmm, we started? Know. It's not like shown in like movies and stuff. Even so though it's like embarrassing you. for men, like in movie in movies, like oh, I'm so embarrassed, I was masturbating or whatever. I think it's like shown more. It's like just more accepted that it's happening with men i don't think it's really accepted as happening with women and even women who are adults who are like taken into their own hands or whatever and like going to the sex shop and getting vibrators or whatever i think there's still this like oh i bought a vibrator oh like what's that like i think there's a whole like i'm too like ooh to talk about i'll tell you a story having a vibrator or whatever Shut the fuck up, woman. It's time for me to talk now. Don't have a vibrator. I'm going to tell you a story. (laughs) That means silence, female. Your role has been fulfilled. It is my turn to talk now. Leave the camera. When I was 25, I had a friend who'd never had an orgasm. She was 23. And she said that she would always get too scared, like something bad was going to happen or like she was going to pee or like so just it just felt too intense. It felt like too much. And I was like, you're a fucking idiot. 
Like, like I, it doesn't make sense. She was worried she was going to shit and come. She saw the meme and she just, she got a little paranoid about the meme. It's understandable. It's like, there's, is there any guy, either, I've never met, I've taught a lot of men how to masturbate. When I was in middle school, I taught all my friends how to masturbate. Oh God, of course you did. Okay. Hey everybody, this is how you touch your cock. Yeah, I touch my cock every day. Uh, you want me to touch your cock? Uh, Cuties is a great movie. Yeah. Uh. And I never had a pupil who was so afraid of coming that he would stop before he came. That is such a weird, weirdly pupil? unique female thing. So one day I just said, go in my closet. I have literally never heard of that from women before. I have never heard that as a thing. And this guy's speaking about it like it's fucking absolute fact. I, I'm amazed by this. Go on. <laughs> And do not come out until you've had an orgasm. And then she did. She had her first orgasm locked in my closet. Uh, this is not looking good, dude. This is not looking good. And just sprayed all over my clothes. I think it's time for a second meme clip. <laughs> just a complete, just just montage of 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 choice, Mister Girl moments. True, or is it just dramatic storytelling? No, she squirted all over my clothes. It was like someone dumped a bucket of water on my laundry. Yeah, maybe she was pissed that you locked her in a closet, and she literally pissed all over your clothes. Maybe that's what happened. You fucking clown i shouldn't say that because this girl is clearly a cl of clown culture and right, based on the glasses and the hair so i should i really shouldn't mock that i can't imagine uh, that story happening with a man maybe a very very abused man yeah some guy that you but locked like, in your closet or something like that someone who's been very very abused you would have to do horrible things to a child to turn them into oh, the boy. man who needs to be locked in a closet to jack off. Whereas it's apparently all women like turn out like that. Not all of them, but a lot of them. All women. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. All women. Hashtag. Wow. Uh, yeah. I really don't think that's all women. I don't think that's all of them. I don't think that's even a few of them. I think that, I think maybe that's uh, not even the one that you were talking about to be completely honest. <laughs> Them t are turning out like that. Like, what the hell? It just, it does not, it's like a surprising story to me. Ladies, you know what it's like. You move into a new apartment, you make sure that it's got your washer and your dryer, your your dishwasher, yeah, your 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 jack off closet. You know, that's just on it, it's uh that's the first step to living on your own as a woman. So it's understandable. It's understandable. So like, what is this like an epidemic of women not knowing their bodies? And then men are expected to pick up the slack. Women are like, so sh oh, they're yes. like, it's like a, it's like having sex with a man is supposed to be like going on a roller coaster and we just like take you through it. And then you're just like, oh, it was amazing to your stupid fucking friends. He looks so bitter. And then this poor little brainwashed girl has to give him that that way too much gum smile. There's just so much gums in that smile. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I agree with you. I think that um, it's it's very like submissive that women are like. I, I sort of. Of course, you agree with him, sweetie. You're you're a you're a you're a, you're a strong, empowered woman who thinks for yourself. That's what that's what's on the script that he gives you. That's right. Earlier, I do think that men you have to like initiate and then have to control the experience of sex and they're expected Lesbians to choose. Lesbians call that running the fuck. And I, I agree. I don't think that's fair. No, they just run the fuck away from you. A little bit of a mistake. I think there are, there are some very few assertive women who do that, but I think largely it's men. And I would say most of my sexual experiences have been uh, someone else running the fuck unless I was with a woman in which case I was doing it because I was more assertive than them usually. Yeah, well, yeah, I've never heard the term running the fuck. I, you're not like that with me. Um, assertive. 
God, I am terrified to think about these two fucking. That is an utterly terrifying thought. I am, I am scared right now. This is perfect Halloween viewing, really. Um, no. I think I s- tended to switch roles depending on what gender I do was dating. Fi- do you find having sex with women less traumatic or difficult? I, I, the look in his eyes is is what's doing it. He just looks. Like, I'm gonna say it. He kind of has a bit of the Elliot Roger vibe. I'm gonna be real. He 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 he's he vibing with Elliot Roger right now. I find it less traumatic, but not less difficult. I think there is a part of not being in control of the sexual experience that feeds my trauma. But in it's a also way. easier. But it's it's much easier to let someone else take control of you and then feel like a piece of shit afterwards. You're passive aggressive. Yes. Um, so basically part of this guy's whole like doctrine about his like belief system is that like trauma and regret and grief is just totally normal when you're when you're having sex with someone. And I've. Uh, on a totally unrelated note, uh, yikes! And on a third, on un- a sec, rather second unrelated note, uh, uh, I feel very sorry for this girl, and I hope that she gets some help uh, uh, very quickly, uh, because because we got some. This is some Kai vibes right now. I, uh, you know, when when Elise said that he was the new Onision, I didn't quite see it. Outside of the part where, you know, all throughout the cuties review, he's like, oh, I'm just being honest. Trigger warning, honesty. And it was like, yeah, because like, a, a, you know, Onision is the facts machine, the most honest YouTuber and whatnot. But now I'm watching this and it's like, this really does have kind of a Greg and Kai vibe. And uh, that's that's uh, that's just contributing to the, sk- the spook factor right now. And I think that that has caused a lot of conflict in our relationship. Um, Cause I know you fucking hate it when I do that. Um, but I, I do think that that's stupid. I do think that often I feel raped after a sexual encounter with a man who is running the fuck. And then I get upset because I wasn't in control and feel violated. But I also was neither assertive n- about what I wanted, nor was I that assertive about the fact that I felt violated. So, uh, I, I think that that happens in sexual experiences, but it happens in a lot of experiences. I just think generally that it's much more difficult for women to speak up. And I, I'm not certain if it's just, uh, I'm I'm picturing a like seven foot tall black guy watching this video being like, okay, choose the next words carefully there, honky. <laughs> girl. You don't need to worry about any of that. Is this his black guy role play? Is that what's happening? Hey, Z, is this accurate? <laughs> and he comes in here and he just whips out his huge dick and he knocks me out with it. And it like hits me, so it goes into my mouth a little okay, bit. Okay, so now we're doing cuck, uh, cuck BBC role play, I guess. Wow, this really took a turn fast. And then I'm like in the corner. <laughs> I woke up today and I was gonna eat some fucking weird Asian food and talk about Nikocado. And now we've got a seven foot black man whacking him in the mouth with his with with his cock, and. And he just shows you that, like, no, none of this stuff mattered. <laughs> that's not that. Oh, so that's one of the things you think about, huh? That's not it. Is that something you regularly fantasize about? Don't you worry about a thing. Um, yeah, but I just don't think that that's real. Like, I, I think. Uh, uh, so we're just going to move on past that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Girl's a cuck. Uh, I guess we know that much. Uh, that <laughs> oh, God, because someone in chat says stop laughing with a bunch of que- uh, exclamation marks. And that just made me laugh. <laughs> There's, It's possible to have sex that is like technically good, that feels good, but still makes you feel violated. I think I've had that experience before. When you are not 
asserting your own. Mr. Girl, more like Mr. Cuck, yo girl. Own self and what you want in the sexual experience, that it's much easier to feel violated. Even if- All right, chat. Do we want to keep watching this video or do we want to move on to a different subject? Because uh, this seems to be a fucking goldmine of hilarity and we have no idea what could come next, but I also kind of feel like nothing in this video can top this man's insane out of left field, like BBC cuck fantasy that just happened. Uh, so I, uh, you know, we can move on to how he got detained by the cops, uh, for sympathizing with the, the Virginia tech shooter chat's saying to move on. So we're going to move on. Uh, which one is the one that is, uh, the police detained me for a Reddit. Now, I don't know if this is actually the one, I think there's another video that touches on this as well, but we're going to watch this one at least. And we're going to see just what the police did, uh, and, and for what purpose I, I, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. My roommate just called me and said the police are at my house and want to do a wellness check. Okay. So wait, this is, oh, this is this year. Okay. So this isn't even the Reddit call. Okay. So when he got fucking arrested by the cops or whatever, back in like 2007, that was, that was a whole ass different thing. I think he got like cut kicked from his university because he, yeah, because he was sympathizing with the fucking VTech shooter. So this is a whole other thing. Let's watch. Just called me and said the police are at my house and want to do a wellness check uh, to see if I ever think about hurting people. And I just talked to the police on the phone mm. and informed them that I'm going to. It's so interesting how the cops are very aware of Mr. Girl. Wow. Each video is is it's like the 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 circle is closing in on them with each video. It's amazing. Our conversation. So uh, I'm terrified because I got arrested in college after talking about the Virginia Tech shooting and it scared the fucking shit out of me. Uh, it was pretty traumatic. And I I got arrested in college for talking about the Virginia Tech shooting. Just talking. It was just talk. We just talk. It's so crazy how the fascist U.S. government just arrested him for just talking, like just talking about a shooting. It's crazy. It's like, what are they trying to hide, man? That's so wacky and weird. Really, 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 really don't want to get arrested right now. Officers. Hey, how's it going? How Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So... Obviously, there was some type of law going on with Reddick or something like that. Yeah. The most recent comment kind of caught the attention to uh, somebody online. Okay. Kind of enlightened me why. So this guy got into a Reddit, a heated Reddit moment argument. He had a heated Reddit moment where he was arguing with someone about uh, whether or not Twilight Princess was trash. And, uh, you know, things just spiraled out of control, as they tend to do with such a contentious game. I mean, 8.8, .8, am I right? Like, what a trash game. Uh, and so, you know, now the cops are here. What's what's going on? What was the story behind that? I don't know what you mean. There was, like, probably 500 comments. Uh, the one yesterday that's since been deleted says, I'm compiling a kill list for 13 years. Huh. So is that your teacher on your list right now? Or so that teacher is on your list right now? Seriously, what a fucking retard. Mr. Girl. Yeah, I've been compiling a kill list for 13 years, and it has 25,000 people on it. I just need some high-capacity magazines, and I'll be set. <clears throat> wow. How about that? How about that? Man, that's... That's, uh... Hmm. Once again, there's really not even anything to say about that, really. I mean, what what commentary can I add? The cops are already at his fucking door. Like, what more is there to say? 5,000 people on the list. All I need is high-capacity magazines. Okay. What was that about? Uh, somebody said to me, um, is your teacher from college? This was, I was, so I was arrested in college. Okay. 13 years ago. Okay. 13 years ago? Yes. Oh, okay. For a class discussion about the Virginia Tech shooting. Okay. For comments that made a class discussion. The charges were dropped.
And he doesn't mention the fact that he was sympathizing with the fucking shooter in that discussion. Uh, I feel like I feel like that discussion probably wasn't even as bad as like it, or probably was rather worse than I'm even like hearing of because all I'm hearing is he sympathized. But now he's talking about having like a fucking kill list for 13 years and holy shit. Um, and I was who, who arrested you for that? The Colorado University of Colorado Police. Okay. If if you need any more, pr- you know, you know, God forbid I ever get political. Uh, <laughs> that's that's definitely not ever happened before, and certainly won't happen uh, very soon in the future with a an edited video, or uh, rather a scripted video for the first time in in quite some time. Far be it for me to get political, but uh. If you ever need any more proof that there's something that needs to be done with uh, gun control in the United States, it's probably the fact that this crazy motherfucker still has a- apparently access to a gun. Apparently he owns a gun. That's what Skelly says in chat, and I think he did more research into it than I did, so uh, I don't know. May- maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that sounds... Hmm. The college police. Okay. Charges were dropped. Uh, I was cleared psych evaluation everything's yeah, fine no, let back in school i decided to do an ama about it uh, on reddit Bas- basically people can ask you questions and you can answer them okay and uh someone asked me if the teacher from 13 years ago is on my kill list now <laughs> okay so i sarcastically saying like sarcastic you really think i'm still mad about this 13 years later like it's it's an interesting story about like free speech or whatever but so my, Are my, you able to bring that chain of discussion up some way to confirm that? Um, you, I thought you said it's been deleted. The one statement has been deleted. I, uh, if I, they, I'm talking about the, the things that were leading up to that statement that probably have not been deleted. Do you have any of, any of that record to show that there was more of a playful banner that you said that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I could probably get it on my laptop. Yeah. Okay. Can you get it? So he's claiming that this was some kind of playful banter. But again, remember that this is happening because of uh, the fact that he got arrested for sympathizing with a school shooter. And so I really don't know if jokes like that. No, don't make jokes like that. That's kind of like an incel making jokes about vans and crowds of people. On your phone? Um, I have to stop. Or you making jokes about vans and crowds of people. Filming to do that. Actually, I don't know if I can get on my phone because my account got banned. Okay. I think I would need to... I can get my laptop if you Why'd want. Why'd your account get banned? That's... Not probably the same reason you're here. People reporting... Oh. People reporting me? Probably. Yeah. So... You don't legitimately have any feelings to hurt anybody you don't have any no. list to do anything no I, I have no ill will towards my professor from 13 years ago or anyone on reddit or, or you or anybody no um, do you own any weapons of any sort i don't actually okay i i did a week ago but i i, sure. I don't actually but i did a week ago what prompted you to rapidly and quickly uh, dispose of your gun there, Mr. or Mrs. Girl, if that is your real name? You said as of a week ago? Yeah, I had a Beretta, but I sold it. You just sell it to Look at how he's, like, moving. Look at how fucking saucy he's being. I think he might be the imposter. He's, like, scratching the back of his neck. Mmm. <laughs> Not me. Don't mind me. I'm just a tree. I'm just foliage in the background. I'm not here. I don't. I'm not here. Don't worry about me. I'm not being suspicious. Yeah. What happened to the gun? You sold it. Are you sure it's not in like a quarry somewhere? Maybe on the fucking deep dark side of a ditch, uh, along with the body. Again, just alleged. We're just alleged. We're just making jokes here. This is just jokes. Uh, someone on legally for an oh, FFL. Someone on uh, cow guns. Do you have that FFL, like, to verify that and stuff like that? Yeah. You do? Yeah. All right. Yeah, man, obviously we know, like, when certain things are said on the internet, stuff like that, man. So. I, yeah, people get really mad at me sometimes, so I think they're just... I, I honestly don't think they're, like, concerned about it. I think they're just... Fun. People get 
really mad at me sometimes, man. I don't even know what brings it on most of the time. It's crazy. With me, and I'm, I'm sorry that they're wasting your time. Well, you know, the difference is like sarcasm amongst people. I think you're probably one of those people that are probably one of those sarcastic people that are like, like. Personal. I think you're probably one of those weird super turbo XXL post 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 ironic uh, double clusterfuck edition uh, hipsters who just everything is sarcasm and irony and uh, extra sarcasm. So, yeah, you know, I can see how some of the things you say might be taken out of context. Clearly, he's only sarcastically a rapist. Um, person you get it yes very sarcastic very like hey, dry yes yes but doesn't what? always carry over the let me see here let, let, let me see here hang on uh weirdo baby dick cunt uh ad ad permitted term thank you thank you z very good she got to it before i could very good internet and stuff true i i doubt anybody really thought i was like a threat though Yeah. Give me one second. Sorry. Where do you think he gets the money to live in a neighborhood like this? What do you uh What do you think is his day job that he manages to live in a fairly decent upscale neighborhood that looks kind of like this? Like where That's uh, that's uh, that's quite the income that uh it would take to for a place like that, you know, in a neighborhood seemingly nice one. Uh got some nice cars and stuff. Uh Yeah. Uh hmm. No, I'm not saying that his money happen is is coming from any illicit sources, but uh, you know he's he's certainly got <laughs> certainly got some suspicion on him. I don't know. Back. Sure. How does that website work? Reddit. Yeah. It's just uh. I like, think what's it's the it about? I've never heard of it, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, see now. I f now I actually feel sorry for Mr. Girl because he's gonna have to explain Reddit to some boomer. <laughs> All right, Max. My partner said that you sold. Uh, was it a Beretta? I did. Last week? I did sell a Beretta last oh, week. Where's the paperwork on it? If we see the paperwork, and we know that you don't have the gun anymore. I think we're done with all this. The paperwork? Yeah. If you sell a gun in the state of California, you would have like a paperwork. I didn't mm. keep the copy they gave me. Why would you keep? Mm. The copy? Would I? Yeah, that's kind of important if you're selling a gun. I don't, I don't know. The guy at the FFL was just like, "Do you want this?" And I was, well, isn't there a record right. of it? Mm -hmm. Around really quick, sure. Because you're not being truthful now. So, well, I'm not, well, you have I'm any not, weapons on you? No, of course not. Okay, we're gonna make sure you don't have any guns on you. I don't have any. Bum 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 ba da ba da ba da. Where is the gun at? at this point, they took my phone away, so I'm going to need to just tell you what happened. But by okay, the okay, all by right, the way, all right. Can you can you maybe not have your legs? Maybe just maybe just close your legs by a little bit there. That'll be good. Thanks. Um, do not do what I'm doing in this video. When the police come to talk to you, do not chat with them. Do not give them extra information. Um, if it's like a wellness check, like what they're doing, it's not really a wellness check. They're trying to probe you to see if they can detain you uh yeah so if i'm ever hiding a gun the, or hiding the fact that i uh, yeah no thank you for giving me fucking tips on how to like get away with a crime <laughs> or charge you with a crime so in the, in the video they're trying to get me to commit a crime while we're talking um i like to live a little dangerously so i'm talking oh, i like to live a little dangerously that's what the ladies all call me max wait stop no please stop dangerously uh mr girl that's his name i was about to say his actual last name but i don't want to i don't want to out his actual la his name is out there it's out there i'm not gonna say it i don't that's not necessary but uh but he likes to live dangerously that's what's important with them but it's not a good idea super bad idea really just want to say like no i've never thought of killing anyone and blah, blah blah and like don't say anything else no i never thought you yeah thank you so thank you for giving this is literally like like tips as he would say for sex manuals this is this is uh th this is this is crime manuals right here this is his his fucking 101 class on how to 
how to fucking avoid police. It's good tips for Among Us, actually. Now that I think about it, if don't bring up any extra any extra info, you don't need to mention. It is a good tip. I'm not denying that, but I'm just saying. Um. Anyway, here's what happened. They took my phone away, and um, I'm staying there handcuffed. And the guy, the like main interrogator cop, is like, uh, "Where's the gun, Max?" I was like, I told you, I sold it to a private party through an FFL legally. And he's like, was this at a store or like in somebody's living room? I said, it's at a store, a legal store. And then uh, the like creepy guy who like hadn't said anything the whole time, who looked like he just like wanted to tase me. The creepy guy. Please do tell us more about the creepy guy there, uh, uh, the Mr. Girl. Why, did I, why was I about to call him Sam? That's weird. Or beat me for some reason was like, um, what was the name of the store? And I was like, I, my, my mind blanked. I was like, I don't know. I I'm sure it fucking did. Okay, why would you make a video about this? This is so incredibly suspicious. I had no reason before this to think that he was in any way involved in a crime where he would need to hide a gun from the police and previously may have owned a gun and then had to quickly remove the gun from his possession. I would have never known. I would have not guessed that. I would have not brought that up. This is kind of like when Hard Rock Nick went on that stream and he was just like, no, nah, I never stole from my mom. I was never gay. I never have been gay before previously. I, I never, I never, I never did. It's like we, we, a bunch of things that we didn't even know. And now he's bringing them up and it's like, okay. I guess he's, I guess he's got a gun or he had a gun and he, he had to hide it from the police. Less than a week ago. I was like, if you let me use my phone, I can show you the texts, uh, orchestrating the deal. And I can show you the private messages on the forum where I met the guy who I'm buying the gun from. And they did. I showed them the texts. I showed them the screenshots. And then, um, one of the cops like went to make a phone call and he came back and he was like, there's no record of you having sold the gun. DOJ has no record. So you're lying. Where's the gun? Where is it? Where and I you? feel like they would know, <clears throat> like even if he didn't have the paperwork, I feel like there would be some record at the DOJ or whatever, the ATF or some shit where they would know who sold what and like, legally what gun trade tr changed hands with who whom or whatever like i feel like they i feel like they would know that so when the cop says that they have no idea about that like is mm. it and i was like i don't know what to tell you uh if they didn't file the paperwork correctly i he was like i don't know what to tell you officer i only don't have the gun or the paperwork and don't remember the store that i sold it to and also now the people that would know whether or not i actually sold the gun uh have no record of me actually selling the gun so i mean i don't know what to tell you i've given i've cooperated as much as i can here well one of two things either you're telling the truth and i was like it's that one he's like and they didn't file their paperwork right or you're lying and the gun is like somewhere and i was like i don't like why would i lie to you about this i'm allowed to have a gun and he was like i don't know because you got worried about it you got scared and you wanted to um divert us and i was I'm like i'm sure you are allowed to have a gun but usually when someone uses a gun in something that's illegal they might get the idea to you know, get rid of the gun suspiciously in a way that's not necessarily, you know, legally selling it to a legal uh, gun dealer or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm not saying that he did do anything, but I'm saying it's perfectly understandable why the police might wonder, wait, so you had a gun up to a week ago. And now we're here after you started making threats about people. And now you no longer have a gun and you have no idea who you sold it to and you don't have the paperwork. Wow. Yeah, no, I can't imagine why they might be suspicious. I don't like I'm legally allowed to have the gun. Why would I mention it if I didn't want to talk about it? I don't understand. Um, and then my girlfriend showed up and um, 
at my urgent request, started filming again. So I think at this point we can resume. I think we saw the private event. We're just trying to figure out. Thank God. Thank God the 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 chief cultist uh, showed up once again to to film his escapades. Where the whereabouts of it is. That's why you're in handcuffs. We have a car here that we yes. haven't searched the house. So uh, that's why we're doing all this for our safety and your safety. I understand. I'm just trying to get the name of the business. Because I don't... I'm thinking it was Gun Gallery? Gun Gallery? In Glendale? But I want to just confirm that before I tell it to you. What was the name of it? Uh, uh, see, I'm thinking it was um, it was the gu- gun uh, gallery. It was the game, the gun gallery uh, I, I, from G- Gus's gun gallery over on uh, uh, over on uh, on uh, Main Street. <clears throat> and um, it was uh, it was, you know, I talked to Gus and 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 I gave him the gun, you know, and uh, and uh, and uh, it was, you know, it was uh, it was. Yeah, no, that I, that I, I it, it was it's Gus's it's Gus's gun uh, gallery, right? I, I, damn, I think it might have been, I think it might have been Gary's gun gal. I uh, see, I don't know. Uh, let me check my phone. Let me just check. Can you say that I lied to you? Who was it? Who was? What gun gallery was it? it was I would appreciate that. That's not a real FFL. Gun? No, I got. Shit. No, okay, no, so because no, because no, I remember. <laughs> so I remember now because I drove past Gus's. Gu- yeah, see, I drove past it. It was, uh, and I drove, and I drove, and then I went to the uh, the fire war, uh, firearms uh, emporium of guns, uh, and that was on Second Street. It was funny. It's right next to gu- uh, Gus's gun emporium, uh, gun gallery, and I, I sold it there. That's the guy I sold it to. The guy at yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. It sure looked like one. Yeah. They think that... Well, I don't know what they think. They're, they're accusing me of... He doesn't know what the cops think. He only knows what women think. Oh, we're not, we're not accused. You're... Okay. We're so insinuating? They're, they're, no, not they even put that. me in handcuffs and are casually asking for proof that I legally sold the gun. I, my, my I mean, like if I, if I was a police officer or any kind of legal, like if it was some kind of decision that I had to make, yeah, I'm going to say the guy who's making threats on Reddit and then within the week fucking yeets his gun and has no proof of where the gun was yoked to uh, or who it was sold to and nobody can corroborate the story. That's pretty questionable. That's pretty fucking questionable. Why you should call the more of a big more of the Reddit, but the the gun is the concern is the Reddit, but the, the gun, gun conversation is what led to the handcuffs. Though. So we're gonna jump ahead to him and his girlfriend here. The the next part okay. of this wonderful video. And now he's jokingly, haha, jokingly uh, insinuating that the, either the cop or the girlfriend, someone, someone else is now on the kill list. So. That's pretty cool. That's a good joke to make in this situation. Uh, one thing you can say about Mr. Girl is he definitely has a good uh, uh, idea of comedic timing and uh, time and a place for a uh, joke that is funny. And that's that's okay, good. That's really good right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. He asked me, where's the gun? I said, I don't know where he used to keep it in the house, but he sold it. He asked me if I thought... Okay, honey, we got to get our stories straight here. ...that you had ever expressed, um, like, any indication that you had intentions to hurt yourself. I said, 100% no. I said... <laughs> he was going to kill someone. He killed me. <laughs> no, I said... I said... If- what a funny joke that's totally not based on anything. <laughs> if anyone is like... I didn't say it this way, but I was basically like, I told him, I was like, I have expressed like suicidal thoughts for myself. No, that's the same girl. She just looks a little different. I mean, maybe it's the same girl. I think it's the same girl. Oh, geez. Maybe he's just got a type and this is a different girl. I don't know. 
And I was like, don't fucking say that to cops, you dumb bitch. You're going to end up in a fucking mental hospital. No. Do not say that. Okay. Tiny, stupid woman. Let me tell you what to say and what to think. This is really alarming because, again, when I first was exposed to this man, uh, thankfully it was better than the way most people are first exposed to this man. But when I was first, when I first looked at his channel, I, uh, I like it. It's so it screams like generic male feminist guy who's like a real good boy and and all that and you know Curtis Connor basically. But now. Now it's like, now it's like he's, he's weird. He's just a fucking weird, weird man that is untrustworthy in just about every way. And, uh, uh, what the fuck else did you say? This whole, this whole thing is so uncomfortable. Every time he's with this girlfriend, it really feels like not a very good dynamic, like just a very unconventional and not acceptable dynamic. I said that you, I basically said that you saved my life, that you protected me when I was going through a hard time and that, um, that there was no universe in which I was, I felt threatened by you or was concerned that you would ever do something like that. That's not true. You say you did lie. (laughs) Well, Oh, honey, you lied to the police for me because you know that I got rid of that gun under suspicious circumstances. Aw, baby. It's so romantic, guys. It's just so romantic. What else did I say to them? I, d- I agree that I overdivulged. Uh, I feel like this girl's a lot younger than he is. I'm just going to say that also. Because, uh, again, it was 13 years ago that he was in college. And this girl looks not any older than, like, 22 or something. So, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to say the word groomer, but I am going to quote people in chat who say that he is a fucking big, big time groomer. Uh, that's just what people in chat say. That's not me. That's legally not me. Just jokes. Not, not accusations. Um... He asked me about the statement you made and if it seemed like something you would say. And I said, yes, he said sarcastic shit all the time. And like, he writes satire, so yes. He writes satire, guys. This is all, see, we're all the dummies. He writes satire. He's just being satirical. He's just being satirical, guys. Come on. The problem with him just being satirical, though, is that unlike, say, let's take for an example, Stephen Colbert, not new Stephen Colbert, because holy fucking shit, his show is just an absolute train wreck that has only gotten somehow worse during quarantine. Uh, just, just the most uncomfortable thing on television. It's really quite amazing. But old Stephen Colbert, when he was on the Colbert Report, and, uh... He was a he was a satirist and he was satirizing specifically the right wing of America, right wing like like Republican uh, people in America. And he didn't weirdly drift into leftist beliefs half the time and then weirdly drift into beliefs that nobody ever even has half the time. So like. The, th- the difference between good satire, therefore, and this would be uh, good satire is clearly satirizing one thing, whereas Mr. Girl, if we're meant to believe that this is all satire and parody and what, ev- what have you, seems to be, <clears throat> seems to be uh, targeting the left, the right, the fucking center, the th- normal people human beings females like i don't know if this counts as satire anymore i don't know i uh kind of feel like that's just a bit of an excuse a little bit can i really have the body cam footage or you were just fucking with me how do how do i get that to go do a discovery request uh through the city for that oh we we can't obviously provide it well of course the city and the administration yeah i'll do that no, it's not what you want, but no. I mean, 
I'm kind of glad that we handled it this way. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I get you don't like being in handcuffs, but I don't like being in handcuffs. Yeah. It's it's pretty stressful. I don't know if you've ever been arrested before, but I've been arrested. I've been put in handcuffs for several times, which I get. They're well, not they're not the, the greatest thing in the world, but yeah, um, like I said nothing bad happens that way. So. All right, well, I think we get the gist of this video. Why don't we watch another video where he argues in favor of pedophilia? Let's do this. Let's do this one. Pedophiles are sick and evil. Ugh. Mr. Girl Splaining number 15. Uh, <clears throat> right. So let's uh, let's let's watch this. I'm sure this is going to go great. This is going to be a great experience, and we're all going to learn so much about the... Uh, you know the right way to think honestly because we're all once again we're all just primitive stupid sheep who are not as evolved as mr girl so he's going to teach us how to think let's listen mm -hmm. oh thinking about it okay guys He's right. He is finally right about one thing. You need to buckle your fucking seatbelt because this is going to be a video. This is going to be one hell of Have a you video. Have acted upon your attractions? No. Never physically, never with any child? No. What, what about child pornography? No. Never. Never. Pedophilia isn't wrong, acting on it is. Um, pedophilia is wrong though, so I don't know what source you've been checking, but trust. There's some serious work you need to do on yourself. For example, lock yourself in a cell and throw out the key. Scientific studies indicate that only 20 to 30 percent. That's your official, uh, official ready to glare cameo here. She, I'm so happy that we got her on the channel as an official guest on the Deadwing Dork channel. Thank you, ready to glare, for officially appearing as a guest uh, spot in the stream. Thank you very much. Of all child molesters are pedophiles. The vast majority of perpetrators are not pedophiles, but they're sexually interested in adults. No maps means no contact, minor attracted person. I have the urge to strangle you, but I'm a no strangler strangler. That's the problem. Like, no you know what? <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way, that almost sounds retarded. <laughs> Once again, thank you to Shoe on Head for the totally official uh, guest uh, appearance on on this uh, the stream. It's amazing that I managed to wrangle two like big boy U YouTubers, uh, but uh, you know that's just that's just the kind of that's you know that's that's just the you know you turn on a bit of the the old the old the old Captain Hook charm and and uh, and and at, at, you know I I don't know. Uh, Please, please do continue, though, Mr. Girl, because I'm sure this maybe maybe we'll find some more great uh, YouTubers who will call you names. It in works. This. Here's the official Joe Rogan cameo on the stream. We, we I, I slid I, I slid into Joe Rogan's DMs and I told him, hey, do you want to do you want to help me make fun of uh, am I right, Joe, or am I right? Bullets in your head. Bullets yeah. in your head work. Correct. Also, that's not that Whitney Cummings is not an official guest on the stream. She's not here as officially. We don't want her here officially. Oh, it's such a forbidden topic mm -hmm. that no one even wants to express any sort of sympathy for those people at all. You don't want to be thought of as a pedophilia <laughs> sympathizer. I'm your huckleberry. Now, in all honesty, I do understand what they're saying. They're saying that if you're just a person who has thoughts in your head and you don't act on them, then... You know, it's uh, or rather, I under I guess I understand the point he's kind of going for here, uh, where it's like if you're just a, again, just a you know, you don't you don't act on the thing. Uh, I mean, yeah, you do probably not deserve to be you, you pr probably don't deserve to be treated in exactly the same way as a like actual factual molester or, or whatever. But that doesn't mean that we should all just look the other way. So. Uh, I, mean, just my game. I feel like a big part of it too is like this concept of no, just trust me though. Haha. -ha. No, but I promise I'm a non offending one. I'm one of the good ones. I promise. Haha. -ha. It's like we're all just supposed to believe that. Like, okay. <laughs> Hi, my little ponies. A couple years ago, I matched with this girl on Tinder. Oh my god, let's see some of these. Provocateur. I'm an independent personal trainer, and I'm emotionally intelligent and present. 
Oh my god. Ladies, would you would you honestly like like would you if you fucking found a guy on Tinder and the first thing in his bio was provocateur just just run the other way. Throw your phone out the window while you're Neither of us were really in a place to date, so we decided to have a casual sexual relationship. We were talking about ourselves and our psychologies and our histories, and she told me that her uncle had molested her when she was a kid. I thought about that and the implications of her saying that. And mm, yeah, I thought about that a lot. The timing. And I replied with, so you want me to pretend you're a little girl and molest you? It was a shot in the dark, but I hit a bullseye. She said yes, and we did that. Uh, lucky you. You hit a bullseye. Very good. And it was pretty cool. When I have kids of my own... And it was pretty cool! And I'm absolutely going to. And I pick a baby... Oh, and I'm absolutely going to! <laughs> Once again, he's gonna say that all of this kind of shit is satire, but it's like, you can't... You know, I'm sorry, I'm as much for free speech as anyone else, but I, you're not allowed to say things like the things this man has said, and then just, ha like... Like nobody, uh, no, you can't, you can't just use satire as a fucking excuse, dude. As an aside, uh, when I'm uploading a lot of my YouTube videos, I frequently use the tag satire in the tag section because I, and I don't know if this still works, but I remember hearing from a fucking nerd city video like two years ago that, uh, sat the, the, the term satire is like a, a fucking golden ticket for YouTube where it bypasses a lot of, uh, I don't know, like a lot of the rules or something. I, I don't know. Apparently, I guess that probably doesn't work anymore, but uh, on a just a semi-related semi thing, it's, it's funny that he claims that everything he does is satire because technically everything I do on YouTube is satire too. So, hey, I'm just satirically telling you to go fuck yourself. Consider, I'm going to prefer someone who has explored that pedophile part of their sexuality. I actually would feel much less safe with someone who denies it. Denying it's a nice idea though, isn't it? It always and is. Mom brings you a bowl of fun fruit. I'm straight. You're a fag. I'm sane and happy. You think about killing people. I'm normal. You're a sick pedophile freak who should get the death penalty just for making this fucking video. Well, the problem with denial is that it doesn't actually work. Denying that those urges exist is not a good way to manage them. Becoming a priest in the hopes that you can somehow lock those feelings up and throw away the key and it'll never resurface does not work. We need something better. We need little kid sex robots. You'll never want a real man. Again. Look, that's a joke, but not really. Let's talk about this nonsense. Like, oh, oh, oh I'm not a pedophile. Like necrophilia or bestia. What more do I say? Like, what can I add to this? Honestly. I have nothing to say about this. It speaks for itself. You only say that because it's so stigmatized. We need to be a little more constructive here, okay? How come there are video games where you can kill people, you can even kill children, but none where you can rape them? And if you try to tell me that rape is a worse crime than murder, I'd like you to read my favorite Alice Seabold quote. Those who say they would rather fight to the death than be raped are fools. I'd rather be raped a thousand times. So, no. Sexual thoughts about children are pretty stigmatized then, right? But we all have them. And it's a spectrum. Oh, I know. So what I took away from this is you want to play a game where you can rape kids. Got Mr. it. Mr. Girl, everything's a spectrum, isn't it? Some of us have thoughts like, oh, oh, I thought she was in college. She's 14. Yeah, <laughs> Silly me. It, it, it must have been her makeup. Instagram. Gosh. I wouldn't believe some of the things that Carla and her friends are wearing these days. And some of us are fixated. You know, there's a lot of girls of all ages doing sexualized booty dances on that, that their TikTok app. You know, I suggest you guys check it out. Uh, Mr. Girl told me about it. On it. Some of us have an unscratched itch. And it's not for 14-year-olds. It's for younger. And the itch gets worse and worse. Some of us... Can we just hear that again? Itch, and it's not for f***ing things. And some of us are fixated on it. Some of us have an unscratched itch, and it's not for 14-year-olds, it's for younger. And the itch gets worse and worse and worse, until it finally pushes us to act. Aren't you gonna- can, can he just, like, here's what I hate about this. It's kind of like when you, it's, it's kind of like one of those people who's like a super fucking hardcore, like, basically borderline Nazi, 
but they're a little too much of a bitch to actually say that they're a Nazi. You know what I mean? Not like just someone who's a Republican, like like a stupid person, but uh you know i mean like uh, uh, no i'm not saying republicans are stupid i'm saying there's some stupid people who think that uh, just because you're like a right winger or whatever that you're a fucking nazi and that's not what i'm saying i more mean that people on like that uh what is it the the right stuff or whatever that podcast where it's literal like skinheads hosting this fucking thing and they're just a little bit too much chicken shit to say that they're actually nazis They'll deny the Holocaust till the fucking day, the, the, the fucking, till the fucking Santa Claus reindeer sleigh lands on their roof. I don't know where I was going with that, but I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with, with where it wound up. They will say, they will, they will, they will spew the rhetoric of the thing till the end of the fucking earth, but they are too much of a bitch to actually say, oh yeah, I'm a Nazi. Yeah. That's me. And that's the same thing with Mr. Girl here. He's going to he's going to do everything he can to Oh no, guys. No, it's fine. Everybody feels this way. We all sexualize children. Some of us feel this way. Some of us. And he's going to do everything he can up to saying that he is just a straight up pedophile. He will refuse to ever say that. Of course he will never say that. Because fucking of course he won't. Because he's just a little too much of a bitch to actually say that. He will he will parade this kind of bullshit around and he'll be like, oh yeah, some of us we feel this way. But he'll 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 praise cuties and he'll do all of this shit, and yet he will not fucking ever actually it's the same thing with the fucking zoophiles. I've said this before. Uh, this is not new thing. This is not a new thing for me to say on this channel. It's the same thing with the fucking zoo people. They'll claim all day that they're like, oh yeah, I'm a proud zoo. I'm a proud zooophile. And I love my dog. And I have a happy relationship with my dog. You put them in a room with their fucking parents? They are not going to admit what they are. They will never admit what they are. And that's exactly what Mr. Girl is. He's a fucking bitch, not a bully. Age player. gets worse and worse and worse until it finally pushes us to act. Aren't you going to eat the sandwich? Look, I have a fetish. It's not pedophilia, but I have one and I need it. I tell people I date, hey, this is part of the deal and it involves others besides you. And if I try not to do it, it's going to be all I can fucking think about. <laughs> What are we talking about here? What are we doing? Is there are we going back to the BBC cuck rape fantasy? Is that what's happening? Is that is that why it involves others? What is happening and how does it keep getting worse? And people I date understand that and actually encourage me and it's great. Look at him, tiger. But what do you do when that fetish is for raping children? How do you handle that in a society where even talking about this gets you dislikes and death threats? I look at the comment section, but don't you get it? That vitriol is what makes is, this happen. Is the game almost over? This is the bonus round. Guys, it's really all your fault for shaming and hating the that person who's... He just has the fetish for raping children. It's not his fault. What, it's your fault for condemning him. How dare you? The, you know, who are the real monsters here? I think it's society. The vitriol is why it is so hard to get help with these urges. Whether that means going to therapy and figuring out your other needs that aren't being met in your life, or finding another pervert to roleplay with like I did, or like that girl did. Holy cow. Or getting little Calvin and Hobbes sex robots to fulfill your every fantasy. Martin, no. And if you have kids, or you work with kids, or you pose nude for kids to draw you like I do, you can't just sit out on this issue, okay? Because kids are horny. I'm 33. We're just going to go ahead and pretend that that was a joke, the thing about uh, posing naked for kids. But uh, let's go back to the thing about how kids are horny, because if you saw my video about Mr. Girl, that's not the first time. Well, maybe this is the first time this video is before that video, but th that's not the first time we've heard him say that. Apparently, that's just a core tenet of his belief system, I guess is that little kids are horny. Continue. Right. I'm at an age where literally everyone on the planet wants to fuck me. I don't care if you're eight or you're 80, you are down and kids will test your sexual boundaries and you have to be able to. <clears throat> I 
Hang on just a second here. Just just a sec. We need uh um, what's, what's that? There we go. Um, so this uh, this absolute physical Adonis, peak male form. Uh, just uh, let's just hear this whole part again. Let's just hear this whole part again. Sit out on this issue, okay? Because kids are horny. I'm 33. All right. I'm at an age where literally everyone on the planet wants to fuck me. I don't care if you're eight or you're 80. You are down. And kids will test your sexual boundaries and you have to be able to hold them. What are you doing? If you're sitting on a huge pocket of repressed sexual attraction, you will end up steering the relationships you have with children who trust you into very, very, very murky waters. And please don't think we're only talking about men here. The Mr. Girl channel is for everybody. Oh, my husband looks at barely legal porn where the girls are younger than our own daughters. For shame. For shame. But I've never had the faintest little tickle when I'm barging into my children's rooms, touching and commenting on their bodies or having weird what? detailed sex talks with them or whispering what? shit about our pets fucking each other into their ears or what? trying to play wrestle with them when they're 14 years old. But was I sexually abused? I'm going to say yeah. 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 You know? Okay, so thank you for saying that. I mean, at least now we know why you're this way. Uh, yeah, no, it's... Uh, I'd like to be the... F Look, I just made more sense than Mr. Girl. First deep fake child porn star. I want to be the little boy who started it all. And you take these pictures. Why does it keep getting worse? Why does it keep getting worse? Because of me as, as a kid. And you make a fully nude, functional CG model of me with a huge fucking dick. And then you put me in a mocap suit and I will rock your fucking world. Why does it keep getting worse? If we can destigmatize these thoughts and feelings that are supposed to just magically disappear if we find out someone is under the age of 18, and if we can find a way to talk about it safely with each other. I ain't got your sick fucking disease, is that what it is? And then we also have all these advances in technology where we can actually make photorealistic CG child porn without involving children at all. We might actually be able to stop kids from getting raped. I mean, isn't that the goal here? Or is the goal to brag about how much of a non-pedophile you are and you attack other people for feelings they can't control and which you likely have. And let's face it, if you're the fucking top comment down there saying, oh, you're a sick fuck, I'm not a pedophile, you're the biggest fucking pedophile in the room, okay? And you're gay. And then we send these people. Okay, well, you know, I don't have anything more to add to it, really. Again, this is just, a ke it just keeps getting worse. It just keeps fucking getting worse, and uh, everything he says just makes him sound worse and worse. Uh, before we move on, though, I actually would like to see... By the way, what is with his weird fucking obsession with Steven Crowder? Is he, like, stalking Steven Crowder? Why is he... Because earlier he was calling him his nemesis. I'm pretty sure Steven Crowder has no fucking idea who this little bitch is, but... Uh, Steven Crowder is too busy being a little bitch of his own right. But uh, before we move on to Halo, I do want to check out a little bit of this video titled This Monster I've Been Fighting My Whole Life. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. I'm, you know, after the last video, I just leave so much to the imagination. I, I just, I just, mm, what could it be? What could it be possibly about? I don't My know. My ex-wife used to call me the monster for it. She said, whatever people are most afraid of, their deepest, darkest fear, that's you. And I said, yeah, like they project their fears onto me. And she said, no, Max, you figure out their worst fear and you actually transform into it right in front of their eyes. Hey, are you don't. Hey, 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 hey. Are you fucking playing? Is he fucking playing Kilimanjaro Dark Jazz Ensemble? Because I swear to God. All right, this isn't, but it sounded like it for a second. Hi, horse. This fucking why you just mind your P's and Q's there, Mr. Girl. This it was the summer of 1995. I was 10 years old, and my parents had just told me they were getting divorced. I was playing Mortal Kombat 2 when my mother came in to talk to me. Max. Part of the reason for the divorce is that I'm in love with someone else. Who, I asked? Carol. Carol, 
her friend and colleague, a woman. Okay, I said. Compared to my mother destroying our family, it was pretty easy to accept her becoming a lesbian. And there's the first time this video is going to piss off a liberal. She became a lesbian? Don't you mean she came out as one? She was already one and enslaved in a, in a fake... You no, know, I was going to make some kind of comment about, yeah, but you are a liberal. But honestly, I don't even fucking know anymore, man. Like, this guy... This guy is a harder... This guy's a bigger misogynist fuckbag than any right-wing person I think I've ever actually met. Uh... He's also more of a, a preening, annoying, douchebag, male feminist, good boy bitch than any fucking liberal I've ever met. And boy, are there a few of you on my server. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not a bully stream. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't even know what to say anymore about uh, about this. But it's interesting that he's using, in case you didn't notice here, he's using a picture of his girlfriend. This is his girlfriend, everybody. This is the girl from the fucking video we saw before, or a couple videos we saw before. This is the same girl. So when he's going off about stupid liberals and whatnot, he's using his girlfriend here, I guess, as an example. And, uh, you know, maybe we know why he disdains her so much. I don't really know. I think, I think, uh, I think Mr. Girl might just be somewhere beyond politics. I don't even think you can fucking... I don't even know, man. I, I don't even, I, I'm not even sure. I don't even know, but you know what? Hi, cuties. That's the whole point of the movie.